Hi guys, today we're going to discuss 10 things I dislike about the S8 Plus. First off, we'll start off with the Bixby. Now, Bixby has its features, especially searching in the settings, it does make it easier, but the command for Bixby is very annoying. It pops up randomly when you're not commanding it. Also, the uh, Bixby button, the location, when you grasp your phone to turn the power off or volume up and down, you're always clicking that button. So the ergonomics of that location of that button is horrible. Next, we'll talk about the screen gestures. There is none. I use that uh, with a third-party launcher all the time for, like, you know, launching music apps. I want to listen to music. I want to get there quick. I don't want to be fumbling through apps. I don't want to be, you know, looking for apps when you have over 200. It, it takes a lot of time. So that gesture definitely opens apps quickly. They should integrate that. Next, we'll talk about the uh, dock bar. There is no rotation, and you can only put five, maybe six icons down there. Um, I would like to see at least ten. You know, I like to get to my apps quickly. I don't want to be fumbling through the app store, and and you know I have them all grouped in in, in folders. But even then, it takes so much time to find you know that specific app you're looking for when you have over 200 apps. Uh, also, we'll talk about the home button. The home button is a love and hate. I love having all screen. But, it seems like the home button is, it's not my friend. It doesn't work the way I want it to work. I click it, sometimes it opens when I pull it out of my pocket, I don't know where it's at, I can't feel it. So I'm always clicking it, powering it on, um, it feels clunky. Uh, move on from that, the um, Samsung Pay, when you have it activated, you get a grayed out area on the bottom of the screen in portrait mode. Well, you can disable it to a certain degree. Uh, I like the Samsung Pay. I want it act available and I want it quick access, you know, just like gestures. But it's, it's so close to the home button area, I'm always swiping it up. It's popping up to the Samsung Pay section. I'll show you. All right, guys, now we're at the S8 Plus. And I'm going to show you how this Samsung Pay pops up, especially for, you know, whoever carries their phone in their pocket and their finger swipes on the edge, not, do, you know, right here at the home button as you're pulling out of your pocket. So you try not to hit that, that home button because it'll open your phone up. But if you accidentally swipe off the side, there's Samsung Pay. <sighs> not the best uh, way of integrating this uh, Samsung Pay. I would rather have it off to the side. You know, somewhere my fingers aren't always going to touch it. Next is the speaker volume. It's adequate. Um, I would not say it's loud. It does its job, but you know, I've had other Samsung devices that the speaker um, was more than adequate. Um, that is one of the downfalls. I use it as a speaker quite often, and I want it to, you know, play the music. I want it to be where I can hear it, especially talking to somebody on the phone. Uh, if there's a little bit of noise in the background, it's pretty much it. Uh, next, we'll go with the uh, IR Blaster. Now, older devices, Samsung, uh, I think it was S5 was the last time they incorporated the uh, IR Blaster. Now, on a daily basis, I don't use the IR Blaster. But I do have a, a Note 2 a Note 3 to have the IR Blaster. And when I retire the phone, I plan on using it as a remote for my entertainment system. So I can also use Alexa to fire that IR Blaster. Well, without that, basically it's a smart remote that does minimal things. Uh, I look at the future when it comes to smart devices and how long I can use them. And that makes me, uh, you know, happier that I can not just throw the phone away when it's done uh, and I just buy a new device. 
I want to use it for something else, such as, you know, a backup camera or, you know, security in my home. It has all, you know, these new devices, they have, you know, three, four gigs of RAM, they have cameras in HD. You can use these devices for other things after you're done with them, especially when you're, you're turning it in for 150 bucks. Buying a, just a camera alone is gonna cost you, uh, you know, home security cam is gonna cost you 150 bucks. And you can use this, you know, as an intercom system. You can use it as a phone still through Facebook or any uh, video chat type, uh, you know, uh, app. Um, let's see. Uh, some little things, I guess, is like the keyboard doesn't let you uh, resize the buttons. You know, there's a lot of apps out there for keyboards. But I like to stay, you know, especially with this S8, I'm trying to stay with the factory touch with as much as possible so I can get, you know, that experience of snappiness and stuff. And as much as I can, it, it kills me. I, I want to put a different keyboard on just so I can resize the button. So, I, you know, I don't really have a big problem with it, but I've talked to other people that have. But that's just one of those things, you know. Options are great, especially when it's in software. Software is easy, you know, you just incorporate it. Okay, is there anything else? I think I went through most of the stuff. Yeah. Um, also, with, in speaking about uh, retiring the vice, you know, after, you know, two years. It's still a great device after two years. You know, just because they came up with something new, you want to be able to use this device for a long time. Especially if you don't plan on getting, you know, rid of it, selling it, trading it in, uh, which I don't usually do, you know. I like Root, you know, I can put the new software on it. Um, I don't care about the warranty after five years. You know, I just want to be able to still use it as I did when I bought it with being able to, you know, put apps that require, you know, new updates and software. I think that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Um, I'll be coming up with another video later and uh, talk to you on the next one. Later. Bye.